Welcome back to Plastic Surgery News. How would you like to have a facelift without facelift surgery? It's possible using stem cells, but is it right? To answer that question, you need to know what a stem cell is. In layman's terms, a stem cell is a cell from the human body that is pluripotent. That means that the cell has the potential to multiply and become any kind of tissue, lung tissue, skin tissue, anything. There are two kinds of stem cells, embryonic stem cells found in the umbilical cord blood and adult stem cells from sources such as fat and bone marrow. Both types are pluripotent and both can potentially be used in medical therapy, including plastic and cosmetic surgery. Here's the theoretical application. When stem cells are injected into the patient's skin, they potentially can turn into fat, bone, muscle, skin, or other types of tissue which can potentially regenerate older tissues into younger, healthier tissues, restoring the appearance of youth. Some scientists say that embryonic fetal tissue from elective abortions provides the best regenerative system cells for anti-aging injections. However, pro-life organizations and others vehemently object to the use of embryonic stem cells since the human embryo is killed during the stem cell harvesting process. Fortunately, not all polypotent stem cells come from unborn children. During liposuction, the unwanted fatty tissue that is sucked away contains a certain number of special cells called prefat cells. Researchers have recently discovered that these prefat cells are actually stem cells and can be tricked into becoming bone, connective tissue, nerve cells, and even muscle. But these potential applications are not current reality. Dr. Michael Shefflin, Senior Plastic Surgeon and Medical Director of Adidim Medical Center in Tel Aviv, is currently doing a study on the use of stem cells to enhance lipoinjection survival. We spoke with Dr. Shefflin to get his thoughts on the use of stem cells in new facelift procedures. The fat has the highest concentration of stem cells in our body. In, in 100 cc's of fat, of normal fat, you have something in the vicinity of 25 million stem and regenerative cells. Basically, what we are doing is we are uh, processing fat to get stem cells out of it and then mix the adipose-derived stem cells with the fat to be injected. The idea behind it is to get 100% or near 100% graft retention in the face. So as we have been putting fat in the face in almost every facelift patient in the last 10 years or so, we're now enhancing that fat with stem cells to get a predictable long-term near 100% graft retention. By using adult stem cells instead of stem cells taken from embryos, plastic surgeons could potentially replace lost tissue and build new tissue without presenting patients with a troubling ethical dilemma. Although stem cell facelift techniques and all stem cell applications in plastic surgery are completely experimental in nature, it's likely that the use of adult stem cells from liposuction in plastic and cosmetic surgery will become part of general practice in the future. The question is, will it be in our lifetime for us to benefit? As new developments arise, we'll bring you the news here first.